day. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, say something if you can hear me. Come on, we decree and declare. Come on, the spirit of liberty is in this room. Come on, I don't see any comments. So I don't know if I'm live or if I'm not live. God bless you, Autumn. Hallelujah. Mare Katori and Bahaya. Come on quickly. Say something. God bless you, Bridget Plater. God bless you, James. I need to come. I need you to come preach at my church. Okay. We'll place the information. God bless you, Tia. As you're coming on, just declare, just declare ascension. Declare ascension and advancement. I won't be long. I, I am completely tired from working all day long, but I want to decree over the conference. Somebody decree, so come on, advancement and acceleration. Advancement and acceleration. I want to give some conference updates. I'm not supposed to be on here long, and I'm deleting this video when I'm done. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all not saying the word. God bless you, Carisha. Come on, y'all not saying nothing to me. Say advancement. God bless you, Genesis, Cynthia, Jeremiah, prophet. God bless you. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to preach because I'm tired. But I want to give some updates on the conference. Prophet Gary, God bless you. God bless you to the Jacksons. Come on, swipe and invite. God bless you, Apostle Blake. Come on, acceleration and advancement is your portion. But the Lord declares in the earth, he says, I'm doing a new thing. Come on, and it shall spring up and no man can stop you. Come on, no man can block you. Come on, there are many people that are waiting for your demise. They are waiting for you to fall. They are wait. God bless you, Nicole Farmer, Dr. Farmer. They are waiting for you to collapse. They are waiting for you to go under. But we are decreeing and declaring advancement and acceleration. I didn't get on here to preach. Listen, for the conference updates, for the conference updates, I want you to hear me. For those of you that are attending the conference, for those of you that are attending the conference, the hotel is currently sold out, but we are working to, to, we are working to increase the rooms and to increase it for a better experience. Literally in five minutes, the conference hotel link was gone. Seriously, we're not joking. Literally gone. Advancement and acceleration. Latoya Benson, I want somebody to understand that the Lord is doing a direct call in the earth. Hallelujah. That's it, Roberta. And you cannot afford to miss what God is doing. You cannot afford to miss it. And there are some of you that will say, I don't need to be there. I would rather be in my house. God bless you, Rashida. I'm telling you, people of God, if you've never gotten on a plane, if you got to put on two masks, if you got to put on three masks, whatever you have to do to get there, you need to get there. And listen, we are working our best to get more rooms. We're going to increase it. You should see the ballroom. It's beautiful. This is another level of ministry. This is another level of atmosphere of revival and deliverance. I'm telling you, if you have not registered Sophia, if you have not registered Brittany Cater, if you have not registered, I want you guys to go register Keisha. Let me tell you something. What I know, I'm tired. So y'all ain't going to get the fullness. What I know is that there is a demand in the spirit for revival. There is a demand in the spirit for the spirit of truth. There is a demand in the spirit for holiness and righteousness. And there is a direct call. Hallelujah, Diane. There is a direct call. And the Lord said to me, he said, I am unctioning you in the spirit realm to call my people to a place of intercession. And see, many of us are not coming to conferences because we 
want God. But we they are drawing their crowds by personality and compromise. Come on, but there is a generation. Hallelujah. There is a generation. It's going to be in Dallas, Texas. Come on, Sharice. There is a generation, Sharice Harris, prophet of God. There is a generation that the Lord says is hungry for him. I'm talking about the days of old with Catherine Coleman. I'm talking about the days of old with Wigglesworth. I'm talking about the days of all when people were hungry for God. It didn't matter about a pandemic. It didn't matter about what they wore. It didn't matter the color of their hair. They were hungry for God. Come on. There is a generation. There are people coming from Germany. There are people coming from Canada. Come on, Latoya Benson, go and register. And don't tell me, oh, pastor, it's a lot of money. No, you'll spend thousands of dollars to wear hair that will wear out after a month. Come on. Come on, somebody. So I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you right now, come on, uh, Prophet Michael, he's going to be there. Come on, many of you need to be there. Some of you need a refreshing. You need a refreshing. You need a renewing. Come on. And you need a rejuvenation. I don't know about you, but I know there is a generation that is tired of personality. They are tired of the same stuff in church. They are tired of the same system. They are tired of religion. Come on, they are tired of tradition. Come on, and they truly want to experience a move of God. Can I tell you, people of God, we are fasting, we are praying, we are fasting and praying for every person that is attending. It's going to be something. And we also have a general of the Lord. We talking about a seasoned general that will be there as well, where he will personally be able to impart, hallelujah, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, but knowing of God. So I'm not keeping this video up long, but I want you to register. Regina Atkinson, I want you, and let me tell you something. I laugh at people. You know why? Because pastors will tell you, oh, don't support that conference. See, and that's where God is getting ready to judge in the church. Because in the days of Catherine Coleman, it was never about um, uh, what church you attended. It didn't matter if you were Methodist, Presbyterian, an atheist, or a Hindu. Everybody was welcome because they were more concerned about salvation being preached than they were about a denomination. Come on. So I'm telling you people of God. You need to make your way. Go register. Do not take your time and register and the seats be gone. There is a capacity. So I want you to come and register. God, You know, God is bringing, let me tell you this, Kendra Carr, Blake, God is bringing our nation to a place. You can put it together, Dr. Susie, you can do it. You're going to be here. God is bringing our nation to a place where, watch this, watch this, where it will no longer be about numbers. It will no longer be about names. It's about the kingdom. Come on. And many people are not pushing the kingdom. They're pushing their agenda, their motive. Y'all not hearing me. And um, the Lord says, I want y'all to register. So y'all am not supposed to be up here preaching. And this is not really me going forth, so... Y'all catch me another time when I'm more on fire. I'm just talking. But uh, even Apostle, I call her Apostle Rachel. She said that, what is this? It's a conference, Dia Portia in Dallas. Can you go under the live and put the information? I don't know where Tiffany is. Put the information underneath there. I want you to join me in Dallas, Texas. Get on a flight. Come on, I want, I want you, God bless you, Prophet Isaac, Pastor Isaac, I want, I receive it. I want you guys to register, go register, Dallas, Texas, the 17th through the 19th. I'm telling you, there is so much deception that we are seeing. Gabrielle, I was looking for you. We're seeing so much deception loose in the kingdom. It's going to be in Dallas. They're going to put it underneath here. I will register. You're coming. 
<laughs> he said, he's coming. Come on. You coming? There is so much deception at large. Let me tell y'all. I'm, I'm not preaching, but I'm just talking. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the hotel sold out. But we are working to increase the hotels. But let me tell y'all something. There is a big agenda going on. And a lot of people are not doing it for God. They are not doing it for Jesus. Hear me. It is, come on, we're coming like an army. Come on, prophet. I'm telling you what I know. There are so many people that have tried their very best. <laughs> the information is there. Let me pin it at the bottom. They have tried their very best to tell people, oh, I don't like prophet Serafina Thomas. Well, why? Join my sister in Dallas. Come on. Come on. And I say, well, why? Why don't you like me? Well, I don't have a reason. Because you, you have a strange fire. There's a lot of strange fire in the kingdom. And people are operating as, as uh, puppets, puppeteers. But see here, come on. We are declaring. Yes, Stacy, it's sold out. So I'm declaring that you're not going to let jealousy stop you. If you're a bishop, if you're a pastor, whatever you may be, that you will gather your people. Come on, and that you will come. I was just got on the phone with my gentleman, stepped into deceptions. Pastor knows he's in fornications, and I called it out. Oh, yeah, that's the times we're living in, doctor. Come on, where everything, come on, the Lord declares. Come on, in this hour. I want you to hear me. Go register. If you might, it doesn't matter if you're a brother or a sister. I can't hold anything. You scared to fly. Felony, don't you be scared to fly. Tell me what city you in and we're going to find somebody to fly with you. But I'm telling you, this conference is going to be something. People are gathering. They're gathering not out of personality. This is not about personality. This is about the hunger of God. There are people that are exhausted with church. They are exhausted, Prophet Apostle Collins. They are exhausted with being played over. They are exhausted with the he say, she say gossip. They are exhausted with, I'm telling you, we're getting ready to see such a greater exposure. And the Lord said to me, he said, I'm dealing with the mixture. He said, there are sinking ships, come on, that are, Targeting rising revivalists. What does that mean? Prop, Apostle Dalen, God bless you. They are sinking ships targeting rising evangelists. Sinking ships targeting rising even, which means that you have a call on your life and you're pioneering. But they are, they know that their season is over. But in order for them to remain relevant, they have to connect themselves to someone that is becoming relevant in the kingdom. So the Lord said, I preserved you for such a time as this. Hear me. Saul was a sinking ship. Come on. He was fired from his position, but he was still he was still operating as if he was king. And there are a lot of people that are operating as if they are in authority. And the Lord and heaven has given them a resignation. He has fired them in the spirit. And the Lord says, I'm doing a repositioning. He says, and I need you to understand when there is a clarion call. Come on, when there is a clarion call. When there is a sanctioning in the spirit. When there is a sanctioning in the spirit, hear me. This is not an advertisement. This is not trying to persuade you. I don't want to persuade you. Some people are delivered according to their brand. We're not going to go to that one. They're not delivered because they want to be delivered. They're delivered because they know they have. They've built such a big platform. And if they are caught really living how they really are, that they will lose everything. Come on, so we declare. Dr. Floyd came to me. She said, Apostle, she told the team, she said, somebody paid my, come on. God caused a whole favor. There's so many people coming from Germany, from, from China, from Africa. I'm telling you, different countries are gathering and they're pressing their way. Because there is a clarion call in the spirit.
Come on, and the Lord declares, do not sit in your house. Do not sit in your house. Get up on the flight. Let me tell you something. Don't come to me about COVID. Don't come to me about no disease. Don't come to me. Come on. The healing power of God shall be in the building. And the enemy is causing people to be so afraid. Everything virtual. No. Get up. Get on that flight and make it. Take off from your job. Your job is not your God. Go in your savings account. Sacrifice. In the days of old, they would sacrifice. These people in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, in the, they had so much big faith. They were not afraid to believe God for the impossible. Hallelujah, Betsy, nations are descending upon Dallas. They were not afraid for the immeasurable. They were not moved by numbers and budgets. They were not moved. Come on, come on, we have to break out of this stuff. Come on, the Lord says there is a place of hunger. There is a place of revival. There is a place that is beyond the politicians. That's beyond the political arena. Preachers have turned to politicians instead of revivalists. They have turn to everything but God. He says there is a generation. We are hitting the streets of Dallas and we are breaking the ground. We're going into the shelters. We're getting them to come. We're going into the drunk house. We're getting them to come. He says I want to revive the heartbeat of my kingdom. We will not behead the church and put our head in his place. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. Come on. Come on. I need some pastors that will stand in agreement. Come on. That's it. Come on, woman of God. She said, I'm registering now. Come on. Y'all got to understand this thing in the spirit. It's a 911. The church is in trouble. We are even having a session for the children. Let me, let me break that down for y'all. We, we, our kids are not going to be on tablets in this conference. Come on. Y'all not hearing me. The children, the church of tomorrow is in trouble. They find liquor, drinking, smoking weed, and the things of the world to be more interesting than the things of God. So our children... Well, even if don't leave your kids at home, y'all gotta, we leave our children at home and the devil, the devil, guess what the devil is doing with our kids? They being molested at home while you praising God in the church. Come on. It's a 911. This is a 911 in the spirit. Get up, get yourself. This is not about a title. You don't have to be on a flyer. To come in agreement and be where the presence of God is. And where the liberty of God is. If you don't got them on a flyer, then they won't come. Come on, but the devil is a liar. Come on, we going back to the days. Come on, the days of a threshing floor. The days when people did not care who was on the flyer. They just came because they understood that the vessel was being used to call a solemn fast of a nation. This is a clarion call. This is a clarion call in the spirit. If you have children that are disabled, I want you to bring them. Come on, the blinded eyes shall be open. Come on, the rivers of the Lord shall be open. Come on, come on, I'm telling you. Judah, I'm telling y'all. There are many of you that have things that are backed up in the spirit. Get up. If you're in the Bahamas, get up. Get your visa, apply and petition in the spirit and get there. Don't let anything, anything make you miss it. And you know what I, you know what I just realized? Turn it in a little. We will sacrifice. We will stand up against our jobs when we want to go on vacation. But we will not fight in the spirit to make sure we're in a mandated place and a summonsing of the Lord. It's a summonsing in the spirit. It's a 911. It's a 911. Even Pro Apostle Rachel, she called with a testimony today about her ticket, how she was believing God to make it. 
I'm telling y'all, there is an unusual hunger that I, I've never posted a hotel and all but times of, my, of doing these prayer vaults and it's sold out in less than nine minutes. I've never seen it before. Never, never have I ever seen it in my life. Marsha, let's go. Get up. Don't make no excuses. My spiritual daughter called me and she said, Pat, Apostle, she said, listen, she said, the rooms are gone. I'm telling you, don't miss what God is doing, Latoya Jones. Don't miss it. Try it again. Some of you say, well, I've had it. I've had it with conferences. Honey, this ain't a place where we come to joke with your soul. I'm telling you right now what I know. Diane Hart, come on, you and your husband. Get up and get here. It's a 911 in the spirit. Go register. And I'm telling y'all for the hotels, give us to Wednesday. We are working out some other stuff to get y'all the same deal. Everything is the in the same venue and I'm tired. So y'all ain't going to get the usual. This is in February. Yes, it's in February. Day of Portia. Click the link at the bottom. I see you, Dr. Laquita. I want you to go register. Go register. It's in Dallas, Texas. It's in Dallas, Texas. Amen. My team is working the fires in your mouth. He's definitely called you and equipped you for this next wave that's hitting the earth. I want to see you. So she, it, she said it was completely sold out. Sophia McClary, I want to see you. I got to call my spirit down to go rest. Amen. It was sold out in nine minutes. Nine minutes it was sold out. Amen. But y'all going to see me go live more refreshed. Amen. And I'm going to be coming with the word of the Lord. Amen. For this nation. Amen. This week coming up, you're going to hear me go live again. Amen. Marakataya. But I'm telling you, I feel the prophetic. I feel God. Dr. Floyd will be plowing in intercession. There's a lot of intercessors that will be there. Amen. Please pray for me to get the visa. I'm praying. Amen. Anthony, you need to be one of those that's registering. I'm telling you, we are living in a time where everybody is preaching everything but the word of God. We don't want no Daffy Duck gospel. Come on. People are fighting over robes. They built, come on. They got more, they got more pledges to open up churches. Are you opening a church for his glory? Are you opening a church to prove a point to somebody? You, you and your husband need to be there. So go register. The younger generation is just so disrespectful to the older saints. Then you got some of the older saints fighting the younger saints. Everybody is in an uproar. The perversion in the house of God. Leaders that have got caught up in filthy lucre. Oh my God. All because they want Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Benzes and rent. A Benz breakdown just like a Honda. The Bible said they've gone far away from my ordinances. They have, they're serving the God of mammon. I'm trying to understand where is the conviction in the house of God where you are sleeping with men and you don't have no conviction, but you're prophesying and you're laying hands. The devil is a liar. Women, women marrying women. Y'all better get ready. Because I'm telling you, in Dallas, Texas, we getting ready to come like a mighty storm. The registration is at the bottom. I don't care if it be two people on here. I don't care if it be five. I'm telling you what God showed me in the spirit. There was a direct call in this nation. And I'm telling you what I know. You better get there. And you better not make any excuse of why you cannot be there. Singers. There was a gospel singer online cussing. And people are telling you not to judge and not to say nothing anymore. Who bewitched you? Who told you? Who told you that it? Pastor Watson, you better go register because that thing... Early bird is gone. The hotels are booked to capacity. We have to go back and get more rooms. Get your tickets now. Don't wait. 
There are certain cap we can have. I'm telling you what I know in the spirit. This is a clarion call. If you have not registered, go register. Don't let nothing stop you. Young people, save up your check. Go register by faith. Do what God has said. Gregory Finley, I want to see you, son. Go register. Do what God has said. There is a clarion call. Shalonda Berry, go now. Go now, woman of God. Go now. Don't wait to tomorrow. It cannot wait in the spirit. And for those of you whose pastors are binding you up from getting where God is, you better check the source. Because if your pastor really could see the grace of God and could see the clarion call, they'll tell you, I'm going with you. And we're going together. Because I know that when we come together as one in a room, that it causes a heaven. We're crying out for our nation in that room. So you, you will, we will have more rooms available by Wednesday, but reserve your ticket now. And you're going to see on my page when I place it there. Amen. Okay, Felony Graham, if you desire to come, you can. Whatever you desire to do, you can do by faith. By faith, by faith. There's some, God bless you, Elder Cody. God bless you. God bless you, Apostle Nakia. If you desire to come, you can make it anywhere. I don't, let me tell you something. I'm a faith shaker, a faith mover. You can have negative $26 in your account and desire to be at a conference and God will make a way for you to get there. I'm telling you what I know. God bless you, Prophet Corey Harris. I want to see you and your wife. Get there. Go register. It's a clarion call if you're a pastor, elder, leader. But you see, they'll gather for personality, but they won't gather for presence. But in this year, we're gathering for presence. You better go register, Gary. I can't wait to see you, Pastor Alicia. God's getting ready to do some great things in the spirit. Sarah Day, fight your way through Canada. Get there. I love y'all. Remember, if you click the link for the hotel, if you click the link for the hotel and it doesn't work, we are working on some stuff. Amen. The rooms are sold out. I'm here from Dallas, Texas. Who else is coming? Amen. Elizabeth Cooper says she's here from Dallas, Texas. Who else want to come? Right under her thing. You can share rooms. Whatever you have to do to make sure you get there. We're going to be we're going to be dropping the names of the speakers. It's not a lot of them, but it's enough of them that carry enough weight. Amen. So God is going to move. God bless you, Hannah Edwards. Gathering for the presence of the Father. Amen. Corey Bell, if you are a prophetic dancer, amen, let me know. We're going to have thousands of dancers on Thursday. We are having an intimate time of exclusive dinner and one-on-one -on, -one. on Friday. What city is it? Dallas, Texas. Uh, Friday, we are having a night of worship with a prophetic, I'm telling you, this man of God, it's just, he lives a pure life, a pure life. When we place his information, a powerful vessel of God. Then on Saturday, we have morning, afternoon, and evening. So it's Thursday through that weekend. Amen. You come in, Prophet Melvin. Amen. Go register. Got to get you in Baltimore. I'm coming. But I want you to register too and get here. Amen. I'm excited about what God's going to do. Please keep me in your prayers. Amen. I want to walk in purpose. Amen. I'm praying for you. Amen. I'm praying for each of you. I'm getting off of here. I'm tired, but I want you to meet me in Dallas, Texas. Go register. It's for the presence of the Lord. Amen. And I know y'all got to get released from your pastors. If you do, come on. Your pastor should join you. Amen. And come. Amen. But we're in a fight for our nation. And the, the line is becoming very blurred. But I declare there's a generation rising up. Amen. If you are a prophetic dancer, let me know. Inbox me. Amen. Apostle, I'll be in Dallas all next week. I'm pulling up. Come on. Amen. I can't wait to meet up with you. Amen. I want you guys to register. Amen. Prophet, we are going to meet up. 
Amen. I'm excited. I want to let it out the bag, but I'm not. Amen. I'm excited about what God is getting ready to do. Amen. Exceedingly. Yvonne T. Nelson, inbox me if you desire to be there. Seriously. God is going to do some great things. Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline Dennis Vincent. Amen. Go register. I can't wait to attend. Go register. When are you coming to Chicago? I'm coming to Chicago. Amen. I was close to Chicago, but not near it. Amen. Go register. If you have not registered, go secure your registration. The airport code is DFW. I'm glowing because I love my husband. <laughs> I truly, God gave me a good man. Amen. He's a good man. Yes, it is. I can't wait to have you. Amen. God bless you, Malik. God bless you, prophet. I'm excited about what God is about to do. Go register. Don't let Latasha Anderson go register. Don't let nothing stop you. And some of you say, oh, I got breathing problems. Yeah, breathing problems when you were smoking. Come on, so don't let that stuff stop you from God. Amen. Put your good wig on. Man of God, put your good garments on. Amen. Elizabeth Hooper, I want you to write me. I need some dancers. We want 80 dancers, 80 to 100 dancers. If you know prophetic dancers who have a heart after God, we are not paying them to dance. Amen. Everything does not have a cost on it. We want you to come. If you are a dancer, we need you. Please write us. Oh, I just see God. This is going to be a major summonsing of the Lord. For his nation. Dr. Paula Clark. You need to be registering your people. And you need to be there with your people from California. You need to come. It is in Dallas, Texas. The 17th through the 19th. It is President's Weekend, I believe. So you have no excuse. Your job should let you off. And you should be off. Amen. Dallas Lovefield is a smaller airport. Is there another airport? Yes, it is. Is there another airport here if someone flying through Southwest? I don't believe Southwest only flies Dallas Love Field. Amen. And you need to do DFW. Amen. I want you guys. I'm telling you the devil's in trouble. Somebody said the last, the, the last thing he could have ever did was make me live again. Amen. So I'm excited about this season. And, and God told me, he said, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you another chance again with my nation because I did not always handle what he gave me correctly. And I allowed a lot of people around me that were not pure. Amen. And what happened was when I did that, it jeopardized what I carried and it almost cost me. But he said, I'm bringing it around full circle again. And I'm entrusting you with my people again. And he says, this time, I expect you to handle them with delicacy. Y'all not hearing that. Amen. But date is February 17th through the 19th. 17th through the 19th. Latasha, you need to be there, daughter. You need to be there with your husband. Go register. It is in Dallas, Texas. God bless you, Andre McLeod, Pastor. I want to see you. Go and register. The 17th through the 19th. And every leader that's attending this conference, your ministries will never be the same. Every prophet, it will never be the same. Okay, amen. Thank you, Gabrielle. She's one of our volunteers that we're going to gather as well. If you are a volunteer or desire to be a volunteer, inbox me as well. My team is going to contact you. God is trusting us again. So I want to see you in this conference for what God is about to do. And I'm going to be telling my testimony. I'm going to be ministering that last night. Amen. And I'm going to be going <laughs> for the juggler. We're going to be worshiping, prophesying, and really going forth in God. So I want you, Prophet Jay is also a volunteer. Uh, Prophet Michael, you have no idea. I cannot wait to meet you. And the Lord says, people that have played over y'all souls, it's over. 
The conference will be held in the same place as your hotel. Come on, Bridget. Come on, Samantha D. Brown. Amen. Melvin, I'm, come on. We're excited, prophet, prophetess. Ten of us are going. Amen. I want you to register, Melvin, and I want to make a group chat with y'all. Amen. I'm excited. Come on. You need to come. Amen. Strong deliverance will take place. Go and register. It's in Dallas, Texas, the 17th to the 19th. And wherever, where the venue is, is where the hotel is. It's all in one. It's all in one. So I'm excited. You don't have to do much. As soon as your plane land, there's a shuttle bus right there. And it's only three. It's only how many minutes? Three miles away. Three miles away. You ain't got to do much. If you coming from Dallas Love Field, I think that is how, 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 how far? About 10 minutes. I'm asking the name of the hotel. Okay, we're going to put it here. Put the name of the hotel there. Amen. Don't miss what God is doing. Amen, y'all. So these are the updates. God's going to exceed our expectation. We are also fasting and praying. We're in a time of great fasting and praying. And you know which is fast too. But how many of you know that the power of God is greater than any witch fast? <laughs> so there are people coming from GA. Yes, it is. Her name is Ursula. Amen. Ticket book and I'm ready. Amen. So I'm excited about what God is getting ready to do. Amen. So I'm getting ready to get off here and go finish cooking. But I love y'all. And y'all will catch me when I got more strength on me. Amen. Hotel is booked. Pastor's not playing. Amen. I love y'all so much. I bless God. Amen. Thank you, son. Courtyard by Mary Dallas. Amen. Let me pin that comment at the bottom. The expectations of God's people are high. If you are a flag dancer, please inbox me. Let me know. If you are a dancer for the Lord, let me know. We want you to come. We need 80 dancers. Amen. People for singing background. We have some of those already. But we want y'all to prepare yourself for what God's about to do. Don't let the devil trick you out of getting there. Meet me in Dallas, Texas. I love y'all so much. God bless you guys.